was set to demolish the remaining part of the failed Panthers team headquarters in Rock Hill. Most of the steel frame was removed earlier this year. Now crews will demolish everything that's left over over the next two days. Wake up Charlotte's Richard Devane now live for us this morning and Richard this has been now years in the making. Absolutely correct. Uh, which part are you referring to years in the making? Good morning to you, Ben. Good Tuesday morning to everyone. Yeah, this was supposed to be a fantastic training facility headquarters for the Panthers. Uh, we found out that wasn't going to happen. Now what's left is being removed so that future development can come. Anyone who lives or works in the area of what was once to be the planned site of the Carolina Panthers headquarters off Mount Gallant Road should expect to hear some loud bangs today. That's because the demolition company will continue the process of having what remained of the failed $2 billion construction project on the 245 acre property cleaned up. Most of the structure steel frames were already removed earlier this year. Today, a couple of blasts, one around 10 in the morning and another around three this afternoon will help with the rest of the cleanup process to remove parts of the building's foundation. The cleanup is to make way for a new business development with office space called the Rock Hill Overlook. There's a lot of potential. It's, it's got to be on the top, on the very short list of great sites in this in southeastern region. And Mayor Geddes was also referring to the this location's proximity to I-77 and just its general proximity as far as a lot of area developments he says could spur could be spurred because of what's to come here. Also, Ben, you mentioned that there was a possible another dead, dead uh, ex demolition boom, you will say, uh, possibly if it's not held this evening, they'll have it tomorrow. We're right here in Rock Hill. Richard Vane for Wake Up Charlotte. All right, good to know that, Richard. Thanks. You might be wondering, how did we get to this point? Well, the whole project was announced more than two years ago now, and construction began shortly after that point. Then in March of last year, work just stopped on the project amid disagreements between the city of Rock Hill and, and Tepper Sports and Entertainment. The city eventually declared the project dead. That led to, to months of lawsuits. Then back in February of this year, York County and real estate officials announced demolition of the site would begin making room for eventual office and commercial space.